Good morning. It's Saturday the 28th of May 2022 and we're back in Glen Etif. You see we're down at the Starov path. But we're going to do the two Monroes just in for you that group, just to finish this group off. So that's the plan for today. So we'll start off on the same track as if you're going into Ben Starov. We'll just stick into the Ben Starov path for a wee bit here and then we'll break left to, to take the height. This is a, the path we came out on in about a month ago and we did the three at this end. That's what I was just going to take to the hill, get off the squelchy path and we'll take a, just start taking the height. That's just cleared the, the wood. So it's just straight up now. We extra layer on now, quite a cool breeze. A lot of the tops are clear. Looking well and coming around the start of been clear all morning. Yeah, I see the hills levelled out now they're up a steep bit. cleft here that we need to just get around. Oh, super day. There's a money site. That's a mineral cairn that you're looking at. This is a second mineral. See so bump here. And then Loch Tulla you can see in the background to the right. And then the book was the peaky one to the left in the background. Very nice. You see it's a bit craggy at the cairns. At the cairn then what you do is you go south for about 500 metres down to a more level bit on the shoulder and then you drop down then this side you just drop down here down to the coal. So that's what we'll be doing. That's looking across Glen Etif, Glen Coe. Ben Nevis has got a cloud on it.
day. What's the day there? So, bench start up with two. Last spin and Albanach. And then Ben Koo again at the back of that. All the tops are clear. Apart for the Ben. One of the annexes has got a wee bit of snow on it, so it's not all that warm yet. You see the shoulder levels out just down in front of Mike and that allows you then to break left and avoid all the, the crags coming off the summit. And that's quite a nice cup of tea spot. So just dropped off the shoulder a wee bit, down the shoulder. So a cup of tea, so we're just going to head down the coal and then round to the Monroe, just right at the back of Mike, that's the next target just a wee summit cairn you could just maybe make out It's quite a, a rough Monroe this uh, see the big slabs and plates there's more rock than there is grass Up this wee bump to go over and then the Monroe's the one behind it. That's Ben Louis to the right, peaky one. And then you've got Ben Moore and Stabinion to the left with a definite V. And this is our second mineral. That's big mealy pudding. That's our second in row. That's looking back at the first. And then finally, Glenco and Glen Etif. Buckle's looking well, just in front of Michael there. And down to Loch Tulla with the Birgivorki Monroe's behind. And then the Ben Louis group. This is our shoulder for going down. It drops us to a coal when we pick up the path, which just heads back out to the Glenetif Road. 
And we're just winding our way down here. You see the newly made track coming in. That's what we're heading for. What lot of work's going on in the Glen. Now we're down a wee bit now. These rock slabs and whatnot off that Horseman Row spill well into this quarry as well, as you can see. This is looking back up the, the cleft that we stopped at when we were going up to the first mineral. That's just looking back at the descent route. Plunge pool there. Maybe not today, sir. So we're just about to close the loop in the car park over here. It's a bit busier than when we left. All the crammed in. Well, what a terrific day, really great. So 16 and a half kilometers, five hours, 45 minutes. So really good, ideal conditions. So many thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.